people and create new storage devices, alternative diverters, alternative uh, slide devices in either ends of the roads can be made and alternative under storages and recycling methods can be also utilized. So restructuralization, revamping and reconfiguration of both the construction model as well as the drainage management engineering it should be made which is not easily possible. Now the problem is coming, I have already told, the third problem with water is we are getting water which is not usable or which is dangerous. For that water cycling, recycling and treatment is there. Now we are having adverse cosmosynthesis by means of reverse osmosis method. It is known as adverse cosmosynthesis. Whatever that is happening, you are reciprocating it. So it is known as reverse osmosis and uh, for advanced problems they are saying that advanced reverse osmosis. That means that it is advanced danger. <laughs> now recently there is a research institute publication which says that drinking mineral water is dangerous to health. It may create ontological problems. What is ontological problem? Ontology of body is resistance. If resistance is not there, then HIV AIDS may happen or even oncological problems like cancer it may occur. So it may create that problem. The problem is whenever you recycle the water, not only the unwanted things are removed, but the wanted homeostatic devices which are implanted as microfilters inside the water, they are also totally removed. By which the natural resistance of human body is eroded. Already human body is weak, genetically, inheritedly, inoperatively weak. And moreover, the circumstances is also polluted. This water is also incontributive, so get into diseases. Recently, a survey report of Holland University, Department of Pandemics, they say that mineral water is dangerous. So science invents new things, then asks us to stop. Use computers, stop computers. Use mobile phones, stop mobile phones. So each and every decade, it starts with it starts with inhibition, and the same decade ends with prohibition. <laughs> this is the modern scientific tune in which we are all struggling now. So water recycling, we are having reverse osmosis process, then advanced double refined filter process, nano filtration membranes are there. Third thing is point of use exclamators are there. Finally, we are having some sort of ultraviolet. Ultraviolet utility for disinfection and ozonic treatment for disinfection is there, but a natural, there are two things. One, improving your power of resistance even though the water is defective. Third thing, make also the water effective. So simultaneously, the person's receptivity, adaptability, compatibility and resistance along with the effective usage of water, both should be given concentration which is not given at all. So what I am saying is, this type of osmotic process, this type of advanced process, they are not only giving a disease free water but also they are giving power free and energy free water which is not going to support you at the time of imbalances. Second thing is we are having settling process in water treatment. Water is having lot of problems like bacteria, <laughs> like fungi, like algae, iron, sulphur, arsenic. Recently I went to Bihar for a project on water treatment for specially arsenic affected water and diseases. How to treat the patients, drinkers as well as the drinkable water. I made a project report and we have selected a village also. There, how to treat, how to make a treatment plan and how to make a composite tablet by taking which the arsenic can be diluted and excreted without causing any harm to the body. We have made a project like that. Now, it should be very specific. It is a very binar, but exclusively I want that it should be project specific, problem specific, province specific, person specific, technicality specific, tactic specific, trouble specific, and team specific and time specific. Without which we cannot bring it. It is just a common view, a global and universal view. Huh? We should have something specific. So we are having settle, settlement issues and we are also having coagulators. We are having aerated bio diseases are there and also advanced sludge control devices are there for this uh, treatment of water and recycling, we are having innumerable things but still abiding by nature and increasing one's own stuff are the most uh, advisable things which have been given by our people. Then coming to river water link, which is a very big challenge. Lot of people have done, even before 100 years, there was Dr. Arthur Cotton, before 100 years, who designed first the river linking project. He told that there is a possibility of river linking for South Indian rivers for agriculture. Second thing is Dr. Dinsha J. Doste. He has created a very good program which was named as Garland Canal. It is known as Malagati or Garland Canal in which all the rivers can be brought as a garland, irrigating all places, avoiding floods, drought and famines. And recently Dr. K. L. Rao, he has prepared a very fantastic report for the Ganges Kaveri link. His uh, situation is like that. He has drafted that from Patna coming into Sono, then Narmata, Tapi, then Godavari, Krishna, Pennar and Kaveri. That was the route made by this person. 
and it is very difficult. It is known as techno economical viability. Whatever we can draft in paper, papers, we can say that connect Daveri and Tanda. We can connect to ladies known as Daveri and Tanda by making them sit together nearby. But connecting a river that requires a lot of things about economical viability, technical possibility, and other sensational issues. More than sensible issues, sensational issues are there. People will shout, parties will shout, states will postulate, international implications will come. Even in this Ganges project, getting into 2840 kilometers of traveling energy of 450 meters depth of water of 60,000 cusacks to be brought inside your area is not so easy, economically viable. And there is already a treaty between this Bangladesh as well as India in the Ganges river water. There is a Ganges treaty between Bangladesh and India and there will be international implications and oppositions from Ganges because that thing will be disturbed. It will mislead the treaty and dilute the value of the treaty. So that is a problem and it is not also possible. Now, resulting in that, there are three possibilities given by the research people. Number one, to consider the Ganges as well as Brahmaputra not to be brought into west or south, but which can be extracted to the immediate west by making it flow to the southern areas of UP Haryana. Immediate possibility, not thinking where is Brahmaputra, where is Kaveri, where you can, we are going to link that. So immediately proximate areas where there is a need is the western direction, that is the southern area of UP, Haryana, etc. Where you can divert possibility number one. And number two, there are peninsular and Himalayan components of rivers. They can be easily adjusted with. Instead of these Ganges and uh, Kaveri, Mahanadi, then Godavari, Krishna, Penna, Kaveri, this link is possible. But who is going to negotiate with the Orissa CM and how is going to give that? Even a proximate area of Kerala, they are quarreling for Mulle Periyar and Karnataka for Kaveri and Krishna for Andhra Pradesh. Even the proximate co-participants are quarreling how this non-participant at the distance they are going to coagulate with each other. It is very difficult. That is the problem with these people. Second thing is there are some rivers which are belonging to the Himalayan components which are known as the rivers like uh, Kalind River, Parvati River and Chambal River. They can be united. That is a possibility. And there is one more possibility of uniting this Netravati, Bada and Badavati. These things they can be united because they are very much connected to each other. The th other option is this Bay of Bengal connection can be linked and be made for the rivers which are having connectivity with uh, submersion into Arabian Sea. There is a possibility of this diversion by which the rivers can be made more productive because they are proximate. Apart from the political bias and political non-cooperation, economically, technically they are proximate and possible. There are three problems. Nobody is accepting, even in spite of flood, no state government has ever accepted in drafting that they have excess water to give to others. <laughs> Write it in a golden plate and read it twice. In spite of, I will be destroyed by my own water, but I am not able to share it for others. <laughs> this is the motto of the people. Nobody has given it in writing, they are saying, but nobody has ever given a statistical report that they are having excess. Number two, normally there is opposition for this eastern deviation of the western flowing rivers. Third thing is political bias which I have already told. These are all the problems which are with these things. Then coming to exobiases. Is there water in other planets? Is there a possibility of water formation in other planets? Is there any possibility to get an APL aerial pipeline to bring water from Mars? <laughs> that is also going on somewhere else. Simultaneously researchers are going on for exobiases. The science is known as exobiology and the phenomenon is known as exobiasis and hydroelectrical power project is only if there is water and there is flow and direction and potential, you can get hydropower project. We started the hydropower project at Darjeeling in the year 1897. Now comparing to the first 10 years, the recent report, 8,000 megawatts, the capacity has been increased. But 9,000 million units, uh, the productivity has been reduced. So capacity is going on, it is inversely proportional. Capacity to produce more is going on increasing and the produced capacity is going on decreasing. Because of water stillation, because of preference to irrigation more. There are other innumerable political and other issues. Farmers are sensible as well as sensational. Irrigation is also something sensational. Most of the people are like that. So you can opt only two things. There are three problems of combat of earth, I already told. One is earth is struggled for crops, food. Second is for fuel, biofuels. Third is for medicines. Like that, water is also having combat for three things. To produce crops for our usage and also for getting electricity. So there is a triad or a trilateral compared for this earth producing water also for three different issues. We have to give preference only to our sustenance. Then only see if machines are going to flourish and man is going to decline. Who is going to use the machines and who is going to be benefited? So man first, mind second, machine third is our philosophy in which we are going to end in a disastrous calamity if we are not going to realize this thing. Coming to the conclusion session, 